this is Amrin Mano. I am an idiot. I am sailing on tanker vessels. Today I am here to tell you and reply all your questions which was been asked in my previous videos. Many people have doubt about how to join as an ETO, what are the requirements, whether they can join or not, eligibility criteria, everything you know and before joining the ship, uh, you what all the research you have to do, what is the work environment on board, work culture, everything there are lots of things to tell and one by one i am going to tell each and everything here to clear all your doubts right as this is june month and now admission has started you know the admission forms are open on the websites you can log in download and apply for that but before doing that you should know what is eligibility criteria whether you should uh, you can join or not and if you join whether you will be able to you know you like the job or you don't like you know once uh, just seeing the eligibility criteria you join and later on you know you are not aware about the environment and things you know you think as it is an electro technical officer you know we are an officers and the job is like we will be like an officer Officers. yes of course we are an officer but it doesn't mean that our hand will not get dirty we have to make our hand dirty you know we'll have to be in the boiler suit we have to work and then the temperature in the engine room you know sometimes ship is going to the freezing country we are in the minus temperature you know all this environment we have to work so we should know uh, all these things it should not be like that you know once you join the ship you know your course is done and you are very enough lucky and you got the job from the college itself and you join the ship and after doing one or two shift you quit the shipping you know you don't like it you know you are not uh, you doesn't like the environment and all these things so it should not be like that you know because for doing the course itself you are paying very high amount you know so after your parents hard and earn money it should not be good just go in vain you know so that is why as per my experience i was an etu i'm not going to tell you about you know it's not like that k i'm telling you bad about it but i am telling you all this you know a good part of it and every day thing you know i'm i just wanted to aware you about the environment and culture you know so you, you are not in the dark phase or dark part user doesn't know it you just see the salary part and see that you will get to uh, go roam around the globe world visit the countries and all these things you join the shipping but yes of course that is that part is there but it is very rewarding and challenging career you know challenging job and you know for joining the ship you have to be uh, you have to be physically and mentally strong you know more than physical physical you can make at any time but mentally strong it is very important because it's like uh, on the ships whenever we want we can talk with our we can't talk with our families loved ones and anyone you know whenever we want we cannot go to our home you know we lag behind many things we have to sacrifice for many things you know when you are on board there is and like there is happen something at home your family or anybody you cannot be there way when you want to be there when you want to be part of it uh, either it is any functions marriage or all so everything has to be pre planned but if something is sick or expired and highly you know so you cannot be there so all these things keeping in mind you have to be there and in all this environment also after all these situations also you have to work there i would share you my experience uh, you know i was on board my ship was in new york and we was at the port and i was just uh, going to engine room morning so uh, i was getting bit you know late so i was on call at home before going, going to the engine room because as i bought the i had a sim of usa you know so I was going to engine room and my mossy my mom sister you know she wanted to talk to me and i said i am getting late because in the morning every day we have toolbox meeting in the engine room so we all the officers has to be present there there we do the planning of the work uh, what we are going to do today you know and the, all these things how we are going to do and manpower and everything in that we do planning so we have to be there you know all the officers and crew has to be part of it and present there so i said i'll i'm getting late evening i will come and i will talk to you 
but you know uh, I, it is unfortunately when i came in from the engine room in the evening and i first you know wanted to talk i called at home and found she was no more you know oh, i it is you know very sad and she is my you know mom sister she is my mossy and she is equivalent to my mom more more than that she you right everything we do share with her whatever it is sometime my mom doesn't you know we can't share and we do share everything with her and she was so close to me and i could not be there you know uh, and even like this is always there in my mind what she wanted to talk to me and i would have gone a bit late and i could not be there for her final you know all these rituals so the thing is there you know and married they cannot be with their kids lots of things lot of sacrifice wise you have to do but of course you get a good salary also uh, there and work basically you will have to work there on, on, on this electrical and electronics equipments all these things your job job responsibilities on board wherever going to wires you your job comes there you have to work from bilge to the bridge forward to of everywhere your job is there right uh, all these things i am going to write in the end uh, so you can read out what are the requirement you know it eligibility criteria marks and percentage yes of course pcm is required and with that english also should be compulsory each you should have minimum 50% marks right so i will be writing all these things later uh, in my video so you can just wrap in my time previously you know uh, the company used to prefer only electrical and electronics you know if you have the electrical companies will take you maximum companies there doesn't you used to entertain who is just electronics and communication electronics and instrumentations who doesn't have electrical you know because basically on board we have to work more with the electrical equipments because man maximum companies like electronics and communication it comes like bridge equipments all this radio communication equipments you know uh, so and, and most of the companies they have their contract with the uh, like it is frono so they have contract with the frono radio hall and all these uh, radio and communication companies you know they have their contract so whenever anything happens you know they do because the programming every maker have different so programming parts we cannot do it on board we can just do travel shootings you know and no owner tells because my friends are there in radio and communications company radio hall and holland and like they do frono repair but you know the everything you know frono jrc and all everybody has their programming so they also get some classes to do learn about the programming and all no to the particular equipments so you should have the electrical electrical and instrumentation electrical and electronics you know all these things if you have you can join and the next part is about height some people have asked me about height ma'am my height is 5 feet and some inch whether i am eligible to join as an electrotechnical officer on board yes height as far as height doesn't matter you know and my height is also not good you know i feel a small height height is to be a good we have lots of advantage over it but still we do see some of the colleges they are asking nowadays about the height for the height you know we have lots of letters on board is more height people we can use letter letter and increase our height you know and the some places i feel good you know whatever i i am i am just uh, you know thank to the god how he has made it made me a small height also you know that the way of thinking is different a small height has lots of advantage where like a, a big height people they cannot go and i can enter anywhere you know and my uh, like my body is very flexible you know wherever i want i can just climb enter and you know uh, everywhere uh, if you are bulky and big height and all these things some places where like a small uh, manhole or a small like congested area you cannot enter right it's not that i am saying bad about <laughs> bulky people and good height people yes it is good to have a good height but don't scare if your height is less you know other countries you see chinas and uh, korea and all these people they also have a small height no they are also working on ships you know for what the ladder is made the stool is made right the stool is for right we can use them climb and work anyway so height don't worry about the height and uh, yes of course your bmi should be perfect 
that is in medical your bmi should be perfect as per your height and weight and the next thing is yeah there should not be any color blindness color blindness people will not be taken because before every medical we are having all this audiometry you know eye testing or color you know all these tests we are having so there should not be any color blindness and eyes you after wearing the specs your eyesight should be 6 by 6 then this these are the requirement to join as an etu you know if you are having the 60 plus 50 percent marks in each of your uh 10 plus 2 pcm separately and then in english as well and in your degree 60 percent marks right you can join but some of the people they're asking me uh, they do send me the message or have commented me ki ma'am please guide or give some reference i want to join as an etu and i have completed my course and i am not getting job you know and if if i am getting somewhere they are asking huge amount so for that i wanted to tell you don't fall in any trap of any agent don't pay like this any amount to anybody right also think that it is now as i told you it is a june and now sponsorship form forms are open in many website and many mti so try to get get sponsorships from any company you know whatever company you are getting of course we should try for all good companies or like itf companies but the time is yeah try to get any sponsorship because once you get the sponsorship your job is secure you know you don't have to hunt for the job after completing the course and you don't have to face and you don't have to pay pay huge amount to the agents you know once you pay a big amount for doing the course and then again you are like suffering and hunting for the job and you are paying a huge amount to the agents and all you know really it is not good your parents hard and earn money you know should not waste it like that and i right? so do or experience because because what i feel is what i have seen many of my batch mates itself right maximum are continuing but some you know i have to make you aware about the situations you know both the side yes so some of them they left and they quit shipping you know after doing just one or two ships you know they don't like work culture they think they used to think it is an etu job we are an electro technical officer it your hand will not get dirty and all these things will be no but you know you have to work your hand get dirty you have to climb anywhere you have your job duty is 24 on call any time because we are only on ships to rectify the problem at any time midnight any time you know you get a call and you have if there is any problem you have to go and rectify it your presence of mind is very much required you know in you are sleeping and suddenly you have to go and you know there is some trouble so your mind should be you know you should be aware about your ship you know so presence of mind is also required i have told you that you have to be away from your family that you have to be prepared if you are you know the home seeker and you can leave for six months because it is not like in every ship we get a uh, good mv good data and time zones are different because we are uh, in different time zone different company countries around the globe you know so that thing is also there yes i have told you about uh, the work culture right so be prepared with your physical and mental health right no color blindness percentage criteria but i have told you height and all this weight as per bmi should be perfect and then yes somebody also have asked me that ma'am before joining the course like as the form will start you know this is the course is 17 week around 4 month course after your engineering so like if the time has gone he was, he was not able to fill up the form or he was not able to take the admission so four month he can't take admission right four to five months so during that time he was he was asking me ma'am what i should do should i join any programming kls card or something like that or should i join any workshop where i get to get exp physical experience about the shifts and all which will help on board yes of course it is a very good questions you know it will be it will be very much benefited to you if you get an opportunity to join such 
company right because like as i have joined i have before joining the ship i had worked with the meru workshop which is in mumbai Dor dockyard road so in that workshop they marine electrical and refrigeration engineering work so in that what they do is they go on board their technicians and they go and they repair the uh, various problem troubleshooting on board so you get to go on board with them and you get to be aware about the environment how is the culture on board you know everything so there you can analyze whether you will be able to work you are ready to survive in that environment or not right it shouldn't be like that once you join pay a huge amount and then quit you know it is very sad you know very few people have done that but i don't want uh, anybody to, to become among them you know if you are joining you are determined you know you should continue the career right so i hope what i wanted to say you understand because i am not trying to say uh, or discourage you but it is my responsibility to tell you and make you aware about the situations and may, uh, make you aware about the uh, job responsibilities and culture and more about the more job responsibilities how you have to work you have to climb you know on the mast in the height the ship is moving and still you have to climb on the height you know, you know some people they they do escape from the height you know so you have to climb the height, you have to go in the dark, in the bilges, pump room, lots of ladders, you know, so much hot environment and all these things, it is very challenging. But if you really like to work with the hand, yes, you will love this job, you know, whatever you work, you know, you get just, you know, it is a very rewarding, you work and you get the output at then and there, you know, you feel so good, I have repaired it, you know, it wasn't working, troubleshooting, you know, so you can analyze yourself, you know, you can judge yourself, you know, uh, you know, as for this, and I really, I feel so, so good to work with the hand rather than sitting on the computer, yes, of course, we do have some paperwork, you know, uh, like uh, uh, but unlike other every industry you know uh, all these companies we have to just work sit on the computer and work here more on the practical hands on the jobs you have and yes of course who like to make their hand dirty and work with the machineries and talk with the machineries you know you will love the job right of course if i can uh, i i'm not saying you can't do but if if, if i can so anybody can work on ship so don't worry about it the salaries are high and somebody also asked me ma'am about the future uh, is that uh, the career in the future for ETO how is the it whether they should join or not yes of course it, you should join I would say if you really like to work with the hand because future scope for ETO is very good you know the ships are coming electronics and in future the electrical propulsion is going to come so more more the opportunities are going to come for ETO yeah although nowadays some companies uh, because as we are not in safe mining that also you should know that if as we are not in safe mining so some it is depend on the company and owner choice if they want ETO on their ship or not if they want ETO of course they want ETO but some kind of companies do like that in a year they keep for four month ETO or something like that or they keep roving ETO for short term it is good for the company company get benefit but for long term it is not uh, I, I have seen the companies uh, they they remove the ETO and again they started uh, taking back ETO within two or three years you know when the ship's condition becomes deteriorated conditions you know not good they are getting det uh, detentions at the port or something like that then they again take the ETO and then then the ship condition is not good and then they have to pay the higher salary to the ETO so now here I am going to summarize about the video what I have talked what all you have asked I have spoke about the requirement right eligibility criteria to join as an ETO about the percentage minimum 50 percent marks in each PCM compulsory and English also compulsory right and in, in your engineering 60 percent marks height weight and B, it should be as well your BMI, it should be good, right? No less physical, mental health, it is very much important. Before joining an ETO, what all research you should do, you should get a sponsorship before joining. And it is June, now the, all the college maximum uh, admission form is open. All the MTIs uh, like Emmet University, Chennai, right, Great Eastern, Anglo Eastern, Tolani, right, right, 
all this institute there are you you can see the list dg approved list you know for mts that also i will put in end of the video these are the uh, institute bp marine and all if from where you can do the course right and before doing the course how you have to prepare your mentally and physically you know what are the challenges comes right uh, then what i have spoken then somebody was asking me ha huh, before joining the course that also I have spoken right yes i think i have answered to all the questions and after that also if anybody have any doubt wanted to know anything please drop me a mail message whenever i'll get time of course i will be very happy to reply your ans answers and will be very happy to guide you all and somebody have asked me for like preparation for etos you know so that i have already replied in his comment Uh, for the in job interview as the companies are coming so what are the basic things he should prepared that also i have uh, replied in the video and uh, separately i am going to make another video for the who who already has taken admission in the course and wanted to sit for the interviews and all these things you know i'll be telling you thank you till that enjoy take care bye bye have a good day hope you liked it and it will be helpful for you thank you for watching and do share and like if you really like thank you